The U.S. removes the requirement for international travelers to take a COVID twist, test 24 hours before their flight. The decision will become effective from Sunday. Officials in the Biden administration have announced that a reassessment of the decision will be done in 90 days. The move to remove the international COVID test mandate by the land of liberty. The U.S. is guided by two factors. One, after the American Center for Disease Control said it was no longer necessary. Two, as per a senior official, after heavy, heavy lobbying from airlines and the travel industry. Now, reports say that 75% of countries America serves do not have testing requirements. In a similar move, the U.S. neighbor to the north, Canada, suspended COVID test requirements at airport until the end of June. The decision comes effective from today. Now, according to a government statement released by Canada, the tests will resume off-site on July 1st. Canada is suspending testing requirements in a bid to reduce chronic delays to travellers in recent weeks. Numerous aviation officials in Canada have spoken out against the tests, saying they have worsened wait times at airports. Canadian airports have been reeling from the problem of understaffing. A nationwide labour shortage has worsened recently and is affecting all sectors in the second largest country in the world. The US and Canada are not alone in dropping COVID restrictions. Cyprus and Germany dropped their restrictions from the 1st of July. Spain had dropped all COVID restrictions, including mask mandates, on the 6th of June for European tourists. Only travellers from the UK were required to show a negative COVID test to enter the country. Now, Japan has opened applications for tourists, but the Japanese are being a bit more cautious. They are only allow allowing guided tours and tourists are required to wear masks at all times. The numbers show that COVID is clearly still around, but with the global tourism industry reeling after two years of the COVID pandemic, perhaps it has become too expensive to prioritize life over commerce.